Hey guys, Mamie here from OneJoyousSkip.com. Uh, the project today is brought to you by CatScrappiness.com. I'm a designer for them, so I'm sharing a haul plus a process video. So let's just jump right in. These are a few of our mixed sequence bags. Uh, I'll have them linked on my blog, uh, but to list them out, they're called Pumpkinlicious, Autumn Mix, Boo Spectacular, Autumn Harvest, Spiderwebs, Spooky Sparkles, Fright Night, and Trick or Treat. Next is our exclusive stitched Christmas tree die. And finally, I picked out this adorable stamp set from Newton's Nook titled Hanging Around. So let's get started on the card. I'm starting with a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock because we're going to do some ink blending. And we are going to do the ink blending to cre create our spooky tree. And I'm going to be using Cracked Pistachio. Seedless Preserve and Black Soot. And these colors are going to give the tree just a bit of variation in color. And I'm going to be focusing the darker inks on the outside and just working the ink in until I'm satisfied with the color. So I'm just going to go back and forth. I didn't want for the colors to be um, very, very visible. I just wanted there to be a hint of each color. I'm going to darken the edges real quick, which is the black soot. And now I'm going to use um, this trigger style water bottle here that I think I just got at the dollar store or something. And I'm just going to give it like a half squeeze a couple of times and that creates like a little bit bigger droplets. I'm going to let that set if you can see how it starts taking away some of that color. I'm going to blot it up with a paper towel. And this gives the... Uh, the ink some texture. Now I'm gonna I'm ready to run it through the, my die cutting machine and here are the pieces. There's five sections of the tree with stitching around each section. So I'm gonna take my blending tool and blend on some more dark soot to really make the tree pop and have more finished look. I have this video sped up quite a bit due to all the blending I'm doing for the project, so. Sorry if it makes you a little bit sick, but I try not to go too, too fast. So now we're ready to start assembling our tree. And I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Adhesive. And this is, adhesive is great because it gives you just a little bit of wiggle room before it dries on super, super strong. And I'm just adding a tiny, tiny dab. You don't need very much at all. And I should have used it on my non-stick craft sheet, but it wasn't anywhere around, so. <laughs> and it also comes with, like, this little, the, tr the bottom part of the tree here. The trunk 
I guess. <laughs> and so now it's time for a sequence party. And I'm mixing together a few bags of the sequence because uh, I can. <laughs> and I'm just going to cover the whole tree with a bit of adhesive. And let that set for just a couple of seconds. And it kind of helps to um, let it grab a little bit better. And there's no specific pattern. I'm just putting them all over. But I am trying to keep the colors uh, in a pattern where I don't use too many of the same color and things like that. And then I'm going to start piling on the embellishments. Like the ghost and the bats and there's spider webs and pumpkins. Just all kinds of fun Halloween themed stuff. And I also added some of these googly eyes out of my stash for a nice creepy touch. There's a few sizes in these mixes as well. Not to mention all the ghouls one needs for a spooky spruce. And I'm basically just uh, decorating it like a Christmas tree <laughs> for Halloween. I know of some people that leave their trees up pretty much year-round, and they just start decorating them for whatever holiday it is, so it's kind of like uh, that idea, I guess. I just love this tree so much, I was like, I have to use it right now. And this is why you can see I had to speed up the video quite a bit because a lot of the elements of the of making the card are quite tedious. But it was well worth it because it was just such a fun sparkly card. So it took about, I don't know, an hour or so. But I didn't want to leave anything out because those are all the fun parts. And I think our tree is coming together pretty good here. And this adhesive, this Tomo Mono Multi, um, it dries clear. So you won't see all those little white bits and stuff. <clears throat> and to finish off the tree, I'm going to put one web on top. I really love these little webs. They are probably my favorite. They're so cute. I can't wait to make a shaker card really soon with all of these things, too. With all these elements and sequins and everything. And now I'm going to be uh, creating the frame. I'm going to make a few frames with my double stitch dies because I want the frame. I want to frame the tree as it is, obviously the focal point. And I always get my projects out of the frame of the um, of the camera, so I have to put that piece of tape and my paper down so I know exactly how much area I have because I can't see. <laughs> and I'm also going to be um, adding some glitter paper to the front of the card because if you can add glitter, you do it. And I was, I think purple was the only kind of color that I had that would go well with this card. So just trim that down a bit. And this glitter paper is like really thick, so it's good to use that glue. This helps it hold better, I think, than, um, than just my ATG. And 
And so now I'm building the frame for my card. I'm adding some foam tape to the... frame so that the focal point sits back a bit. And I don't get to do this very often because I never have like one single focal point. So I really like to frame it out like this. It's really cool. So I'm just cutting slices of the phone tape down a bit. And let me know guys if the video is just going way too fast. And if it is, um, then I will just instead cut out some parts of the, well like I, my head there, I could have cut that out. But I can cut down some parts of the video to make it where I don't have to speed it up as much. So I don't know. I don't know if it bothers people or not. So just let me know. And so our last bit of inking will be creating splatters on our background. Um, using all the trees that I used in the tree. I mean using all the trees. Using all the uh, colors that I used in the tree. And also some glow in the dark paint. Which is going to be super fun. I haven't gotten to use it. I got it like two years ago and I hadn't gotten to use it yet. So I'm super excited to finally get to use the Halloween glow in the dark paint. Which is the coolest thing about Halloween. Everything glows. And so I'm just creating a bunch of different sizes of splatters. And here uh, with the paint, I have a glob of it over there. You need to add a lot of water to that paint because it's very thick. And so I'm just adding water whenever my paintbrush goes off camera I'm just adding water and putting that into the ink to create the splatters and you want to dry it really well hit it with your heat tool because you don't want those colors to mix because these colors don't go together and if they do kind of mix together they'll create like a, a yucky kind of brown color unless you're you want that look but we don't really want that look for this and I cut I put two of the greens together here <clears throat> the, the cracked pistachio and the mowed lawn, I put those together so that I could get more of a, the green color that's on the card already. I'm just hitting that with my heat tool. And here I am really watering that down a whole lot. It's, it's not going to affect the way that it glows or anything, so don't worry about that. Just adding, adding water and splattering that on. Oh yeah, and oh, also I'm using a sentiment from Lawn Fawn here. It just says Happy Halloween. I'm just using that sentiment from it. I just want to let you guys know that I, before I edited this video, I had the one of the drafts that accidentally got listed as public on my YouTube. So if you saw that, it was just a draft. And it's so funny because you got to see kind of like what I'm really doing <laughs> behind the scenes. And I'm sure everybody was like, what in the world is she listening to? So I was watching um, America's Most Wanted, so it probably sounded super crazy. <laughs> I don't know what you guys watch while you're crafting, but I like to watch crime videos and just kind of see what's going on in the world as far as, you know, those kinds of things, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I added some silver embossing powder here to the Happy Halloween and just heated that up with my heat tool. And we are doing the last little bit here, just layering everything together. And I'm going to add some foam tape behind the uh, Halloween tree as well. So my card is basically finished here. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this take on the uh, stitched Halloween, I'm, I mean stitched Christmas tree. I'm using it as a Halloween tree. And uh, go over to catscrappiness.com and check out all of her products. She has really, really great prices. And I, like I said, I'm on her design team. So stick around for more videos on her YouTube channel. And also the supplies will be listed on my blog of the things that I used for this card today.
And if you haven't yet, subscribe to Kat's YouTube channel. And as you know, I'm from onejoyaskip.com. And so you can go to my blog and my website and check out uh, further information and, and thing like that, things like that. And stick around for the end of the video because I will have some still shots of the card here that I created. Adding a couple little pumpkins here. And I think that looks pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.